Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. I want to take on one of the simplest ideas in melody, but like any other simple idea, it's pretty deep. What's a leading tone? Okay, I won't keep you in suspense. In any major scale, in Western music theory, the idea is there's a seventh step that's a half step below the tonic. That's the leading tone. So here's a C major scale. Am I done? <laughs> no, I'm not. That long note is the leading tone. And it has its roots in a whole bunch of conventions. But I think the most important thing we have to know about the leading tone is that it's a half step below its target note. Leading tones are almost always a half step below their target, not always. The tone in this case was B, and it rose to C. Well, that tone B has a really important role in the scale. C, a C chord with G on top. F with A on top. G7 with a B on top. C with a C on top. That particular motion is baked in to the concept of harmony and the sort of sense of chord progressions that we sort of grow up with and just feels completely natural to us, right? That leading tone, the seventh degree going upwards to the tonic, really, really important. And that's fine if you're using a major scale. But what if you're using a scale that has some modal quality? For instance, here's C minor, natural minor. And um, there's no leading tone to the tonic. We call it the subtonic. It's just a whole step below. So in a classic Western theory, I, you know, fit of peak, what theorists have done is go flat six, raised seven, one, creating what's called the harmonic minor scale. And, you know, it's a pretty solid sound. You get a dominant five chord resolving to the minor chord. It's terrific, right? I mean, we need it, sure, absolutely, or do we? In medieval music, there's a term called musica ficta, fiction. In fact, I was in a band called Fiction Music back in New York in the 80s. I wonder if fiction music is still active. Roy, tell me if it's still active. I know he's been doing some amazing work. Um, but it, it, the conventional sort of like authorized church modes would frequently not include a raised tone like that. All right, they wouldn't ever harmonize things like that. So musica ficta became a... A, a way of the performers in real time adjusting to the needs of either the uh, musical motion, creating a half-step motion to a tone, or, and for, perhaps more um, uh, importantly, it would be uh, the musical performers adjusting the intervals so that there wouldn't be any uh, dissonant intervals, so that everything would be perfect consonances, fourths and fifths, which is why medieval music so often kind of sounds like. Perfect fifths and fourths all the time. You know, it's just part of its nature. I think we can expand the notion of leading tone, right? Because in the dominant chord in G7, the third and seventh are sort of the tense, tritone world. The seventh definitely wants to go up to C. The f that fourth degree, the F, really wants to go down to E, doesn't it? An authentic cadence has two motions in it.
Well, I think that there's a leading tone that goes down by a half step. You can think of it as a plagal leading tone. The Amen cadence 4-1 has a leading tone that goes from the fourth degree down to the major third. And in fact, there's a whole category of leading tones that approach some target note by a half step above. A tritone substitution is a leading tone concept that approaches from above. G7, C, and it's tritone substitution D flat 7 going to C is a leading tone idea, and it's leading down. All leading tones are half steps. They can approach from below or from above. Now, this is absolutely crucial in writing a good melody, because me good melodies don't just sit on chord tones. No, they want to go someplace. And the place that they went to in sort of like 18th century or even later sort of common practice uh, harmony would very often create new key levels. For instance, C, G, D7, G. That F sharp is a new leading tone. It's a secondary leading tone, part of the secondary dominant D7, which takes us to G. And so leading tones act as a really important melodic component of harmony, right? I really wanted to go up to C there, and I could do the same thing here to G. It's a pretty powerful tool. Leading tones are everywhere, and they're, they're a big part of the sort of duality of Western music theory and just in general, the human experience of art. My teacher used to call it the anticipation fulfillment dyad. Any good composer or artist works with the, the part of the material of their work is the anticipation of the listener. Oh, I know what's going to happen next. Oh, I didn't expect that. Or thank you. I really was looking forward to that happening and you gave it to me. Leading tones are a big part of that. We almost can't do without them. Leading tones are always half steps, usually from below, sometimes from above, always half steps. Leading tones can be secondary, leading to new key levels, creating new places to go in our melodies and in our harmonies. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe and ding the bell. You know, you'll be notified when I do my videos. I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.